What is your name? Sue. Okay, and when did you move in? 30 years ago. Fantastic. What was your first day at Bevan Court like, do you remember? Or your first, first memories? First memory was going into the flat and seeing this red flock wallpaper oh. with thousands of holes where they must have had a dartboard and they used it as the... and it was thousands. So when we pulled all the wallpaper off, you had like woodworm all over the wall. Oh. Horrible colour. But at least, we, you know, we stripped it all and we got it all done and yeah. redecorated it, obviously. <laughs> and bought some new bits and pieces and second-hand right. pieces. Mm-hmm. And we made it our little home. Oh. It was very nice. What was it like compared to live where you lived before? I lived in a house on a ground, you know, a house, so it was a bit different. It wasn't an estate up in North Road, which is off the Caledonian Road that way. Mm -hmm. So it was quite nice to live up high because I lived on the seventh floor and have l lots of light rather than be on the ground and not see nothing, basically. Mm -hmm. Are you still up on the seventh floor? No, I'm on the fourth floor now. And I'm, I moved from 109 to 69. I was next door to Justin. I didn't see no Justin then until I moved down for the gardening group. What do you know about Lebeckin? I didn't know very much at the time, but I have studied it and obviously know now he's an mm -hmm. architect. And my favourite place other than Bevin Court is the Penguin Pool, yeah. which I love. And I used to take my daughter there, we used to love it. When I, t when I took her there, when she was from, I don't know, maybe four or five, and I wheeled her up to the cover to see the penguins, she went, oh, we're in Bevin Court! Because it was all blue at that time, the same as paint here and I said no it wasn't it's not Bevin Court but it's designed but as she got older she realised she studied it and found out yes she designed mm -hmm. the same building which I do have pictures of us at the Penguin Pool. What's your favourite memory of Bevin Court or what's your favourite season? My favourite memory is having my daughter yeah. being born and obviously bringing her back to Bevin Court and okay. she's lived here ever since so she doesn't cool. know anywhere different other than Bevin Court. So she's still here now? Yes, she was born when I was living at 109 and then obviously we moved down when she was seven years old to number 69. And she still lives here now. Yeah. And she's never moved anywhere, so I don't know how she's gonna cope when she has to move away somewhere. Because mm. she's used to Com being up high. Completely different. And I like springtime like Anita, because I like to see all the bulbs coming up and because mm. I don't like cold weather. But it never used to look like this. It used to be basically a bit of grass, a load of mud, and just that was it mm. mud and grass mud and grass nothing else and no one was allowed to go in there when i first moved in no children was allowed to play um football in there you wasn't even allowed to put anybody in there no Ooh. one was allowed in there only the dogs what's changed since you moved them the gardens have definitely changed because mm -hmm. we've done a lot of work with the garden group and yeah. the allotment which i love so much the flats are still the same a few people have come in and gone which mm -hmm. some are better some are worse like everywhere and it's just a nice place to live, you know, and they just decorate it, obviously, different colours every now and again. As you see, when I first moved here, it was blue, I think, and now it's red. It's quite bright from when you're coming down the road, you can see it like a fire engine. So do they used to have the stairs blue? Yeah, the stairs, all the walls were... It was white like a, when I lived here, all like white. A pow sort of blue, wishy-washy blue, okay. like the penguin book, basically. Same sort of blues. Yeah. It was the same kind of blue colours. But it's changed over the years from various colours and now we're going back to red for some reason. I love the colours, actually. I like the colour red, yeah. so it's quite bright and cheerful when you walk in there. And it's just a nice place to live, I think. Best view of My or from? My best view is looking from this side, which is the south side, looking at St Paul's, the Shard and that. And from the other side, which I look over to, is St Pancras because I can see St Pancras from my bedroom window and that is my bed clock. Oh really? Wow, what a clock to have. As your bedroom clock. I took a picture recently, which I'll probably have to show you. Yeah. A sunset from my bedroom window. Yeah, I love it. I just love it. And that is my two favourite views.